Hey guys, welcome back to the new computer build that is six hundred twenty dollars. Um, it is GTA Five ready. Uh, with the it's not very new, but it, it's you know decently new, I guess. Well, this computer will be able to run it. It's, it's small. It's a micro ATX form factor, but it's very powerful. So let's get started. So the processor I went with for this build is ninety six dollars. It is the AMD FX sixty three hundred. 3.5 gigahertz 6 core processor very good processor has good reviews online handles many things good for multitasking gaming you name it photography anything so the cpu cooler i went with in this build is the cooler master hyper tx3 it is a sleep bank cpu cooler and i didn't go with the 212 evo because it cannot fit inside the case we have yeah and it's pretty good it keeps it it'll keep this card pretty cool even when you overclock it the motherboard i went with is the Asus M5A7AL. Uh, it's got USB 3 micro ATX form factor. Can as four slots for memory. It can hold 32 gigabytes. Mm, yeah, it's got. Yeah, it's pretty good. good for our memory, I went with a Crucial Ballistic Sport 8 gigabytes, two times four. Because this motherboard does have dual channel memory. It is 1600 megahertz. The storage I went with is Western Digital Caviar Blue one terabyte. It's good for a non-SSD build. It can boot Windows in about 20 seconds. So one terabyte GTA 5 is only 64 gig 65 gigabytes. I'm sorry, but it can fit all the games you want, your Steam library, and your adventure upgrade to an SSD. All right, so now down to the main part of this build: the meat and bones, the things that is going to be running your games at 1080p. It is the Sweet spot card it is the EVGA GT GeForce GTX 962 gigabyte. It is two hundred dollars and it's the sweet spot card for 1080p. It can handle multiple games. I will be I'll try and link some benchmarks for it. The case we went with is the Cooler Master Silencio 352 Micro ATX Mini Tower Case. It has two USB 3 ports and a USB 2, I believe. Might just have one USB 3.0 and one USB 2.0. It's a silent case, it's very, it, it doesn't feel cheap, it doesn't, I'm, and it's black, it's very sleek and stealthy. Our power supply is the Corsair CX 600 Watt 80 Plus Bronze Certified Semi-Modular Power Supply. It's a pretty decent power supply, I guess. <laughs> I don't really know anything about power supplies, you can't really determine them for me. And I put in an optical drive, you know, just to install Windows or something. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this computer build. Maybe if you use it, tell me down in the comments below. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video and whatever I do. See ya.